Last year I had a weird phenomena of uh, undergrads emailing me and calling me Ms. Bowdish instead of Dr. Bowdish and I thought that was really really weird and I uh, you know I actually pulled one aside and was kind of like you know that seems like an odd way to address a professor and um, in my personal life I go by Ms. but in my professional life I go by doctor and she said I just wasn't sure if you had a PhD or not and I thought well you know usually when you're teaching a fourth year university course you usually have to be qualified. Hi, my name is Dawn Bowdish and I'm an assistant professor here at McMaster University. I'm in the Department of Pathology and Molecular Medicine and I study the immune system and how it recognizes bacteria. And there was a really inspiring teacher in my first year who taught microbiology and I just thought that it was the coolest subject and I just, I just was so inspired by everything he did. Um, and the way he put his lectures together and talked about, you know, art and microbiology. I actually was really lucky because I had a high school co-op here at Mac. I was a little nuisance to a postdoc. Um, and uh, I was just, I just thought it was the most glamorous job. I thought her life as a postdoc was just so amazing because she got to argue with her boss and not get in trouble. You know, they could have these passionate debates about science and take a coffee break whenever she wanted, which I thought was a really good deal. And um, travel all over the world and present her work. And I just thought, like, that's the life for me. <laughs> I lived in Japan for a year. I taught English part-time, um, traveled around part-time and got into mischief part-time. So I <laughs> had some adventures. <laughs> to a certain extent, as long as you like where you are, it's hard to look back at even at the things that you think you failed and regret them because in one way or another they got you to where you need to be now. So you know one of the examples I would use is I uh, it's very, very important to write these large grants to run a research program. You know, we need hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. And I really struggled with getting my first one along. Um, I got lots of rejection. And ultimately, although at the time it felt pretty devastating, um, very devastating um, I acknowledge now that that failure was important to help me do what I'm doing now. Yeah, so right now my social life is basically consists of um, I have a four-year-old and two-year-old and um, tickle fights and going to the park and taking them camping and things like that. When my kids, you know, instead of saying cheese when they get a picture taken, they say macrophages and they come into the lab all the time and decorate my chalkboards and my uh, cover the office with art and uh, and so already I'm trying to get them. I'm trying to get them to understand that science is, you know, it's sort of like a way we live as opposed to just a job that we do. And uh, so I hope that that kind of passion for what they do will, 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 trans, will be a lesson that sort of transcends whatever subject they, they pick. And I love being at work. I love it when everyone's having a good data day. You know, I love it when everyone's come, running into the office and they're like, look at this graph. I love that feeling of like, oh, you know, we're really, and I love the feeling of being the first person to discover something. You know, I love that. I miss actually doing the lab work because I love that when you just like unveil your Western plot and you feel like, you know, you know, look what I've just discovered and I'm the only person in the world who knows that. I love that feeling. It's such an invigorating reason to do science. <laughs> so the advice I would give my undergraduate self would not be for about science or work or anything. That would be about love. I would say to myself, that best friend who you spend all your time with is going to be the man you're marrying. So. Don't tell them all about all your boyfriends. <laughs> that will come back to haunt you.